Hey guys, name's Finn. Playing some aeronautical flying age. Some kind of rock band is playing right in my front yard. It's pretty fantastical, great. Where am I? <laughs> oh yes, I said I was going to go over there, but I'm going to try something because there's this other room, not this. I mean, this isn't a bedroom, is it? I mean, mansion keys, no? no? Well, there's this room over here, and like, oh, oh yeah, that's right. I thought I remember this. It's not a bedroom, but is in fact some kind of tile-based Super NES RPG. No, kitchen. NES, 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 Super NES, Super NES, NES is the way to say it. There was even a guy in Earthbound called NES, and you're telling me it's not a reference? Well, anyway, I've already explained that already, and let's. Damn it! That I see you. Let's, yeah, let us not allow those guys to come fourth because I want them to come fifth, I guess. I freaking know. I'm, I'm not saying anything, but there's this corner here, and you see there's this room with like 50 bazillion guys. I mean, can you dig it? I sure can't. Fool. Yes. Well, anyway, I don't even know of that. I just know it's a thing, so anyways, there seems to be some sort of light switch over there, and possibly here too, if I can just sneak my way over, but yet... Okay, well that might help a little bit, but not completely, completely, it just... Stop. Oh yes, it's not per side, it's just... Nothing. There's one on each side, and each controls the one chandelier up in the middle there. And these guys have armor plating on one side and not the other. It's really <coughs> bizarre and kind of odd, like pointless and stuff. But like maybe it's some kind of brace for holding their sword, but it's only in their left hand. They wouldn't do that with it. I don't know. So that's some kind of like God side Psychonauts reference kind of thing with like some kind of gem in it for some reason. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna snatch it, like pluck out your eyes, I'll kill Bill style. So I guess this room's a lot easier than I made it out to be, even though maybe not. Anyways, recording now because who knows when I'll get a chance later because they might want to be doing stuff around here. Like, uh, oh, that guy's got plates on both sides. He's got no sword. How odd. Noise, stop. Yeah. Guess, Guess I was, was nothing. nothing. Shut. Hey, up. hold it right there. Oh boy, this room, yeah, I tell ya, it's, it's definitely thing shaped. I don't know, man. Seems like. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to just take a few of you guys down. This is the serious episode with not a single joke in it. What are you talking about? Joking is forbidden because I'm a torpedo! Oh god. Yes, but anyways. I just wish I had a better coat all the time with my overshoes. What is an overshoe, if that's what he's saying? Like, what? <laughs> what did I see there? Oh, the window whistles through the woods. now. All right, you guys, just get out of the way. I mean, I'm serious. Look at these guys crawling around like freaking spiders. I mean, man. Spiders, yeah. They're Still around here. here. I guess everybody calls these big spiders wolf spiders, but I guess they're actually called house spiders, which isn't nearly as scary, unless it's supposed to mean that they're the size of a house, which they are. But they're not too harmful, they just look very scary and make a bunch of girly girls shriek worse than in some really bad horror movie, and it's, it's pretty fun. So, I guess I'll just... I mean, seriously, you... Whoa, whoa. Almost got caught there. Oh, come on. Wait, I can take his sword? No, I can I can throb it. Well, why could I throb it? Brom, 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 Brom's chief guard. Oh, wait a minute. Now, this guy's got... He's got some kind of Terminator eye on his face for no uh, reason. With me, guys. And, you know... Come back here. He's probably going to alert that guy. And everybody's going to have a grand old time. Because... God. Hey, get up. Also, you're not holding anything in your hand, but but you kind of are, and, and I don't know. Damn. Oh, Whew, that was close. Well, now that I'm causing mass carnage and slaughter in this room for absolutely no justifiable reason other than mass genocide for no justifiable reason, I guess... Someone whoa, 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 hey, buddy! Jeez! 
Look at these guys, they're so all over the place. But bedroom. The point being that there's probably some bedroom up here. Oh what are you doing here? Dude, where's the dark? Seriously. What on earth is going on? Like God, just they're just everywhere. It's like kind of like excessive. There's nothing behind that banner, but like really, I don't wanna run around these guys, seriously. Well, I mean, if this guy happens to walk down the stairs, just like not. Hmm. Wonder what that noise was. The noise was nothing, so sh shut up. It looks like this is like the palace of many colors or something, because. Because. It's got like red lights and green lights down there. And. Coming home tonight! And stuff, so I guess. Oh. Oh yes, this is that bunch of secrets thing. Well, what have we here? It's some kind of pagany mask where you go all like, it go bokum, and then all those other voice samples in Banjo Kazooie that make it really annoying and not nearly living up to how great it's supposed to be. But anyways, I guess these are different symbols. Like there's that angry eye and there's that eye on the water there, on the rocks, if you like. That makes a strange crystal, some kind of ice with like a little pick thing inside of it. What have we? Finally, after searching for many difficult days, we found this crystal. It should be one of the most valuable pieces in the whole world. No, I must correct the last point. It is the most precious piece of crystal ever found. When it arrives at Von Brom's mansion, please put it in a secure place until we decide what to do with it. To what to do with it. Signed, Casimiro, with a weird accent that I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Well, it looks like there's tons of goodies on this shelf. Like, what are we here? Okay, well, this is some kind of thing, and I'm, I'm thinking these symbols are just there for decoration, but these are three symbols that I want. So, like, I guess the angry eye, the squid-like thing, and some kind of, like, blob sort of dove with a deformedly small head, or maybe it's a fire. I don't know. I don't know, man. Who am I to know these sorts of things? Oh. Th oh. Hmm. What? Are you kidding me? Are all these books... Oh. Harry Potter and the Cup of Tea? What the... Aha. Uh -huh. Very silly reference kind of names here. The third compendium of the human nature. Very fascinating topic. Uh... Oh, really? Well, that's not very funny or anything. Well, what have we here? Oh, really? Reading. Wow. <clears throat> Seems that in the ancient Maya Empire they believed to a god slash monster named Andulindu. I think that probably it was a strange animal of that era. And the whole story about it is written here in these rune tablets. I must translate them all. Here is the translation of one of them, and I am trying to understand what it means. Once Andulindu rose from the surface of the fires of hell, the sacred people ran away from the cities. A man, unhear, <laughs> less said the better, came, came to claim the powerful magic of a sorcerer, and the moon watched over them all. The final combination uses runes in this sequence. Moon, Anulendu, the monster, the hero, the man. I must make a note about the symbols on the runes in case someone doesn't understand what they depict. A bird in the hand is worth two in Shepherd's Bush. <laughs> Let's go and pull a couple of birds. <laughs> Never mind. The moon is the simple, well-shaped, well-known shape of the crescent moon we can see in the sky some nights. Yeah. The monster is a kind of small face with three descending lines, a squid-like thing. And the man is formed by a line, one pointing east with a curved line below and a dot between them. Anyhow, there must be a tablet around here that depicts all five runes together with an explanation for each one. At the Mountains of Madness, fine. Well, there's... Man, I guess, I don't know why it would be that. It kind of doesn't seem to depict anything. But anyways, there's a man, there's the... Anu Lendu, which is an awesome name, I gotta say. It's so, it's so like, wicked cool sounding that I thought of using it for one of my computers, but I never got around to that, so anyways. Uh, that, that's, that's that. It's pretty... Now, oh, oh yes, now I can turn off this hallway to make it like darker, but then of course we don't get the, the red color and also this door is unlocked But it's got that locked looking handle and there's like some Somebody guarding that room, so I mean seriously 
Saw that. I'm off to the gin shop. What have we here? Well, well. I better come back here later. Some sort of locked up room. You know what they always keep in there? Yeah? Dead people. Uh-huh. That is damn right, y'all. Well, it seems like this is some kind of closet with absolutely nothing in it, even though these crates look like they might be hiding something, but apparently not. So... In fact, if I wanted to do some other stuff, I'd have to oh, come back around this side. But uh, instead of instead of going all the way back around this side, it would certainly probably be in my best interest to just stick around here and forgot about that room down there with a whole bunch of loot in it. Do I even have a loot goal at all? I do. Two thousand. How much have I got? I've got cheese loot, and I've got eight hundred sixty-four. Okay, well. That's it for me for today, so see you guys tomorrow.